Hi, I'm Catherine McQueen and you're watching Smart Money, the show that gives you the inside edge on the bets that the movers and shakers on Wall Street are placing. Today's trade is centered around the tenets of Dow theory, industrials and transportation. Trinity Industries is a diversified industrial company that provides rail transportation products and services across North America. The Dallas-based firm operates in five principal business segments, the rail group, the rail car leasing and management services group, the inland barge group, the construction product group and the energy equipment group. Trinity Industries has a market cap of $2.56 billion and director Brandon Bose has been growing his holdings of the firm quite significantly in January. Recent purchases have taken his personal position in the firm to over 25 million shares with a market value of over $500 million. Bose is estimated to have a net worth of around $1.5 billion. He's chairman at CBRE Group and a partner at Value Act Capital management. He also has a background in M&A and corporate advisory at Lehman Brothers, so it seems fair to say he's a man who knows what he is doing. Between the 13th and the 15th of January, Bose bought 350,000 shares of Trinity for an average price of $20.97. At the same time, news was announced that fellow board member and Caterpillar leadership veteran of 17 years, E. Jean Savage, was the new CEO. Let's take a closer look at the firm. Starting with profitability, we can see that Trinity has a return on assets of 2.4 and its return on equity of 8.43% is amongst the best of the industry. The firm's profit margin of 9.19% is better than the industry average of 3.24%. Valuation-wise, Trinity has a low PEG ratio, which compensates for the price earnings for growth and indicates a rather cheap valuation of the company. On the other hand, however, the price earnings ratio is 17.7% which is a bit on the steep side of things. The forward price earnings ratio of 18.18 comes to a similar conclusion. In terms of growth prospects, the firm is forecasted to show quite strong growth in earnings per share, some 19.9% per year for the next couple, which marks a trend change from the negative EPS performance, which has plagued the past five years. Solid current and quick ratios suggest that the firm is in good health, as does its Petrosky F score of four. Looking to the technicals, the short-term trend is negative and the long-term trend is neutral. Trinity has an average volume of 1,002,360 shares traded daily, which is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. It's been a range-bound year for the stock, but ever since a double bottom formation, the stock has produced higher highs and higher lows into the new year. Now, the fundamentals suggest that there is great potential here, while the technicals are a bit uninspiring. What is exciting, however, is the change in leadership and deeper investment by the likes of directors like Bose. Nevertheless, please do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. See you next time.